This is Adria's Coral Platinum 690 SC. It's a seven meter low profile with an island bed layout and it aims at the luxury end of the market without being too expensive. At least that's what Adria's claims. It's a terrible day today, chucking it down with rain. I'm getting wet, let's get inside. Remember I said Adria claim that this gives you luxury at a surprisingly affordable price? Well it seems that that is actually true. If you actually look around you sitting in here, you've got a very highly specified cab, um, leather steering wheel with radio controls, radio, reversing camera. The price comes in at a good chunk under 60,000 which is pretty good for a motorhome built to these standards. If you look outside you can see more good kit, there's an awning, there's a 12 volt socket so that you can plug a submersible pump in if you need to top your fresh water tank up when you're on site. Quality of the fixtures and fittings is also very good. The upholstery particularly I'm impressed with, it's very automotive in style. You have some coarse weave material here which appears that it would be very very hard wearing. There are automotive style headrests on the forward facing seat as well. Layout wise it's entirely conventional for a seven meter continental motorhome of this type. We've got the usual L-shaped uh, lounge diner with the large continental table, a side seat and it actually does make into a transverse single bed which makes this van a free berth. Moving rearward again L-shaped kitchen which is what you would expect. Um, highlights in the kitchen are a very big fridge, uh, not a completely separate fridge freezer, two door fridge freezer but a large fridge. You've also got a three in line hob which is great because you can see all and get at all the pans um, and there's an oven in there as well which is nicely arranged at low level so it's easy to get at. Ensuite facilities in the rear um, and the island bed uh, it's a decent size, it's got cupboards underneath, the head rises the base of the bed slides back which gives you more room to move around in the bedroom during the day. And beneath that a very very large locker, it's a through locker with two doors, however it's not quite a garage, it's a little bit less than one metre high which is the prerequisite for a garage that will take uh, full size bikes. If you look at the detailing as well you'll find that everywhere where there might be a sharp corner Adria has installed radius edges so you're not going to catch yourself where you're moving around inside. Um, heating is mains electric which is part of the UK uh, kit however it's only the 4 kilowatt but I've got it fired up here today because it's basically freezing and it's kept me snug and warm throughout the period that I've been doing this test. Well it's going to suit the touring couple, that's our demographic, the older people who want to tour with the opportunity to take a grandchild away because you can make a single bed up here and you've got the forward face and travel seats. Overall quality versus price is extremely good, it's very well specified but bear in mind there is plenty of choice out there so have a look, look round at them, go to the shows and make sure that you've looked at all before you make a decision. However I would say having had a, a day's worth of experience of this particular new model from Adria that it's very much a contender in the marketplace.